Morning, chat. Morning, chat. Sorry about that. I was checking the stream on my phone because I'm trying to figure out the audio here. But I remembered. What? Oh, right, right. I forgot to set up the screen capture. No wonder that's not working. I was wondering why things went so odd. Where the frick is my screen capture? Ah, I see. There you are! Oh my goodness, I forgot how obtuse it was to record games on the fucking... Oh god. Okay. Quick question for you, chat. Would anyone mind if I just remove the modded bit from the stream title? And instead went with starting on the Switch. Because that is just so, so much easier for me to record. And I don't even know. Yeah, okay. Okay. I'll, I'll change the title. Th this is already ridiculous. I can't even tell what you guys can hear. Oh, I'm going to lose my mind with this. All right. Just got to mute the speakers. And I believe I also have to change some of these sound output options. Not that. This. There we go. And... Oh god, do I even have Stardew downloaded? Oh no, this is a mess! Oh, jeez! Okay, let's see. I do! Thank god! Okay! Hi! Hello! This is a disaster of seven different kinds. I need to edit the stream information. Uh, what the fuck do you mean? There's no... Ah, great. Uh, don't mind me. Just gonna archive a couple of games. Sure, we're done with Okami. <laughs> wow. Is this the messiest intro I've ever done? Probably not, but it's gotta come close. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll be more prepared the next time we do fucking, jeez, even this is loud. Why is the capture so loud? Weird. But hi! Welcome! Welcome to a much more chill game than usual. Okay, I'm gonna very quickly double check the stream audio, just to be sure. I'll be right back. You guys can hear it. Perfect. Wow. Oh, it's because my headphones are turned up ridiculously high. No wonder. But yeah, welcome to Stardew Valley. This game is an absolute delight. I originally wanted to do this game modded because there was some fun stuff I have downloaded, but I guess it's fine. Hey, I'm going to miss that huge map, though. Sorry, I just have to quickly rearrange some of the stream layout because I was originally going to be doing this on PC, so I didn't need a projector. Uh, this is what happens when you wait till the last second to prepare. Okay. Uh, first things first, everyone knows basic farm is the best. Riverland hasn't got enough space, forest farm is chaotic, hilltop farm is way too rocky. Four Corners Farm is alright, but this... And I guess the Wilderness Farm? But, like, that brings monsters into the equation. I'd rather not run the risk of life and death at my own house. Uh, my hair is much darker than that, thank you. So let's look around here. 
There we go. Alright. My name is Atlas, and these can be the Almanac Farms! That actually sounds adorable! I buy produce from the Almanac Farms. Steam, what do you want? Is it because I closed your game twice in a row? Steam client update? No, shush. Go away. Not today. No pressure from obnoxious downloads is gonna mess with the chill vibes of this stream. Speaking of good vibes, hold on. Enjoy this ASMR bit. Oh yeah. Such a good click. What's my favorite thing? Hmm. Quiet. There we go. God, what I wouldn't give for some more of that. Uh, if I remember right, the pastiest one is... Yep, <laughs> that seems about right. That's disturbingly accurate, actually. Where's the messier hair? <laughs> Close, but a little bit too anime. <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Uh, there should be... Ooh, I could be Angie. <laughs> the Punisher. Oh, I can change the color of my pants. <laughs> I'm sorry. It appears my naughty pants ate all of your ice cream. God, what a fucking character intro that was. Y'all know Smoker from One Piece? I love that guy. And he's amazing. Here's somewhere. There it is! A black shirt with a giant pink heart in the middle. Perfect. Uh, oh. <laughs> Forgot that we can just change into skirts no matter what. Eh, too loose. I like pants. Pants are very nice. They make me feel secure. Uh, where are the nerd glasses? These ones? No. They're like more clear. You can kind of see me blink behind them. Blink, you fucker. I don't think that's it. Oh! That might be it. Are those even glasses? I can't tell. <laughs> Good morning! Hi! Wait, did I? Nope, not the game mod. Ooh, guarantee one, year one completable. Yes, please. Uh, I'll just take the nerdy glasses at the front. Here we go. Uh, I think that's everything. Do we skip the intro? Nah. We, we should see this. It's very nice. Plus, it gives me an excuse to do my old man voice. Hello, I'm dying. And for my very special grandson, I give you the sword that's been in our family for generations. I want you to have this sealed envelope. It contains a sword in it. Somehow. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. I need to grab hold of something. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Like I'm trying to crush the air in between my hand. Like this. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Oh, there's a little Junimo on the fireplace. I never noticed that before. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. Ooh, incredibly unspecific. Joja, join us. Thrive. Oh my god, that is such an ominous place. Smile, you're with Joja. Terminated! Oh my god. What the fuck is Woody doing there on the left? Is he licking his lips? Yeah. Oh, why is there a skeleton on the right? How does Stardew Valley get so ominous so fast? 
Also, the lady in front of us has a black screen. Wonder why. Aha! Uh -huh. It is time. Dear Atlas, I'm dead. See ya, bitch. <laughs> if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. The Almanac Farm. Don't ask me why I named it that. A voice from above decreed it. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Yes, if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will you? God, I really wish I'd gotten the mod version working. Damn it, I'm gonna regret that this entire time. You know what? We'll play through this this week, and if I manage to get it working, I'll get us back to where we were, and we can do it next week. That'll be fun. Yeah. How this bus is functioning, I have no idea. <gasps> it's a little bird! <sighs> Robin! <sighs> Excuse me, a little bit drowsy. Hello, you must be Atlas. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you in show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your new for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Spoiler alert, we're not going to be talking to pretty much anybody this entire time. <laughs> I'm really just here to make money and a cool farm. This is Almanac Farm. Oh, God, it's a disaster! What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. Oh wait, do I have a ponytail? Oops. Ah oh, well, it's fine. And here we are. Your new home. Ah! Hello! I'm another old man! Ah, the new farmer! I'm definitely not secretly your granddad. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Well, too bad. <laughs> They're not gonna find out much. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Oh, I miss this place. Nothing, nothing, I say nothing. Rustic. That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her, Atlas. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Ah! Oh my god. She just had a heart attack. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you want to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Haha! <laughs> no. Townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. And now the game is ours! <laughs> Gotta do. All right. That, our, pretty much our only goal is to make as much money as possible. And we start with this. I also want to try and complete the, um... The what's it? Community center. Yes, that's the term. Okay, we're just gonna need to clear out a little bit of space. Okay. 
main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs> oh, well, oh god, it's a mess already. There we go, that should do it. Yes, I know it's a mess. Oh no, oh, it's all out of place. Wait, I can pick these up, can I? I have no idea, I think that's just going to destroy them. Okay, next move is... Oh, it's only 720. The store isn't open yet. How do I know? Because I have restarted this game more times than you've probably ever played it. I don't know what it is with me. I just restart games whenever I feel like I didn't do something right. Like I could be doing better. I'll try my best not to do that with this one, though. Okay, that should be enough, enough space, I hope. I can clear out a bit more, but let's poke around the farm a little. I want you guys to get real attached to this place so I can replace it in one week. <laughs> Hell, maybe even tomorrow if I can work fast enough. The series probably won't be going for that long, but who knows? If y'all like it, we'll continue it after Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Because, again, I know I've said this like a billion times in a billion different playthroughs, but the moment Tears of the Kingdom is out, we are playing that game every day of the week. Non-stop. I might even, like, shelve a few days off just so I can, like, get through that game faster. Okay, store should be open now. What we want is potato seeds. And then whatever else we can buy. We need to make as much money as possible. In time for the strawberries. Because I believe once we get egg day around, we should have enough money from the strawberries to hopefully buy everything we need. Perfect. One can only hope. Ooh, dandelion. Gimme. A uh, yoink. We're gonna need these. My biggest problem is that I know Jack doodly squat about fishing in this game. Now I just need to water them. Watering is going to be the biggest time sink for us, I can tell. Because that is literally what happens every single time. Biggest t use of time and energy. <sighs> this is, uh, gonna be difficult to get used to. <laughs> I forgot how obtuse the Switch's controls for this are. Okay, I'm gonna keep clearing away some land. Cause that is my- that is my absolute shit in Stardew Valley. Just nice, clean soil. Let's see if we can clear a path south. I wanna be able to get there. Jeez. What the? Oh! Take the pictures. I'm gonna do a lap around, see if I can find any forgeable stuff. Those are some of the most important. Here we 
really is just like, hey, free food. Oh, this old place. The squeaker will come by here. Aha! Knew there'd be something. Gimme. What is that down there? Oh, it's a tire. Gross. Um, I need more wood so I can construct a chest. Because the last thing we want is to run out of inventory space, especially this early. I wonder if I can change my hairstyle freely, because, I don't know, something about like the twisty braid really doesn't do it for me. Oh, another one. Watch this one be like silver rated. No. Lucky us. Bloop. Bloop. Oh no, seeds. Nope. Oh, God. I can walk slowly like this. I guess that'll help with farming. Yes. The key, as many of you probably know, is efficiency. Getting the most bang for your buck. The most miles to the gallon. Oh. Greetings, tiny child. Oh! I thought that was going to use the freaking axe. Hi. Goodbye. Uh, but you didn't expect the scythe, did ya? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Ah, oh, outsmarted me again, child. I'll get you next time. <laughs> I know I promised the stream would be calm and chill, but man, I am an agent of chaos, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, so I give me enough wood for the thing I'm trying to make. Okay, should be good. Here we are. Uh, we can drop the chest for now. How do I drop the chest? No, don't, don't destroy it. There we go. And I will put this uh, uh, here. And now we can start storing stuff. Isn't sap, like, really good for cheap fertilizer? I should probably hold on to that. I'll also... Take one of these and... Munch! I have just a bit more energy. Couple more. There. One singular energy left. Let's go see who I can bump into around town. <gasps> Woodpecker! It's really cute. Woodpeckers are funny little things, aren't they? How do, how do they do that? How do they move their entire head at the same pace a hummingbird does, it, does its wings? Hello, nice to meet you. Relax, I'm just doing this for like the hundred gold I get for it. Hello, Sam. Sam, he am. Wait, Pierre. I spoke to you at the shop, but not in person. You're Harvey, never mind. Oh, hey, so he's a new guy, huh? Cool. I can sit down? Hello? Maru? Um, there are a lot of people to speak to. I don't know where they all are. Oh, hey! Daffodil. Daffodaisies. Where the fuck have I heard that one before? 
some kind of fictional plant in an RPG. Nope, that's Maru. Hmm. Can I go in here yet? Nope. <sighs> oh, doesn't Sebi come out at night sometimes? Or is that only on rainy nights? Hello, Robin. Sebi is, like, by far the hardest person to meet. He only comes out of his room, like, two hours of the day. Hey! Linus! Nice to meet you. Retired Fred Flintstone. Oh, and there's the last foraging thing I need. Perfect! All those in one day. Not often you see that. That's good, though, because that means I can sell the rest. Get more money. <laughs> For all of 30 gold pieces. Kind of sucks, but we take what we can get. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Quick, consume the daffodil. Gives me exactly zero energy. Well, uh, I'm going to shot myself the foot for tomorrow. God damn it. Ugh, must get to TV. Weather tomorrow is sunny... This one tells me about foraging, doesn't it? Yep. No. Oh, I mashed too fast. Really? Today was a bad luck kind of day? I mean, I guess they weren't wrong. <clears throat> but still, I think we did pretty good, given what we were handed. And I believe today we get a fishing rod, and I have half my supposed-to-be energy. Ooh. I need cool stuff in my backpack is full. Willy! And that covers one of the other major items that we need to gather. Refill. Shh. Walk slowly. Don't disturb the crops. Believe me, this playthrough will be disturbing enough. Up. And left. Uh oh, and left. And hip. Hip a dip. Keep it up. Okay. Um. Well, we definitely want to get the fishing rod. That's important. I could go looking for more foraging. That's probably a good idea. I forgot to check my luck today. That's also important. Tomorrow it's going to rain. Fantastic. And today... Good luck. Alright, Willy, I'm a-coming. Okay, wait, hold on. Can I, like... I don't think I can change the way I look at all, can I? Hmm? Oh yeah, we get money, friend, moving up, DIY, fisherman, treasure trove, gopher, polyculture, 15 of each crop, weird, 300 of one crop, full ship. I forgot how good this game is. Uh, listen to that soundtrack, by the way. So gentle, so nice. 
What's my, uh... To the beach, right? Getting started. And gotta meet everybody. Shane, everyone's favorite asshole. What? What do you want? Go away. Whatever you say, Shane. <sighs> Willie! Well, you shouldn't do that. That's bad for you. Set a better example for the kids. Come on. Boy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Won't mind me, I'm definitely not your grandfather reincarnated. Reincarnation sure works fast, huh? Oh, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It's a big haul, sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here. I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stay alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Okay, I know that there's one fish near the cave that we can only catch on rainy days. And that's it. That's all I know about fishing. I need to do it so much more. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, the shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sails. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say, anyway. He was a strange western man. Legends say he fought a steam engine with his bare hands. <laughs> we have found Particio's son. Somehow. He hopped dimensions, apparently. Anyways. Yeet! Oh. I missed the water. Ooh, I got something. Oh, god damn it. Oh, yeah. Damn it, I forgot. You can't fail your first catch, so if you play smart, you can, in theory, get the, like, rarest fish in the game. A sardine! For the sardines there, son. I keep my promises. I've never fully played a Disgaea game, but that is one of my favorite characters I have ever seen. He's a vampire who refuses to drink blood and always keeps his promises. And he promises penguins, these like little little penguin dudes. Or like basically like your basic grunt of the RPG. Fuck. I am not good at fishing. Seashell. She sells seashells on the seashore, but the value of these shells will fall due to the loss of supply and men. No one wants to buy shells because it's lost on the sand. <laughs> that song lives rent free in my head. Every day of the week. Oh yeah, you can repair this pretty early too, if you're quick about it. I might focus that for a bit. And I should probably try and get that fish. Oh yeah, so he's a vampire who refuses to drink blood because he made a promise a long, long time ago and he never breaks a promise. And he's obsessed with sardines. That's it. That's the entire joke. I don't know why. He just insists that they're like the greatest thing ever. And of course the penguin people love him for it. <laughs> oh, it's so ridiculous. I wish I could get into this guy, but it's like way too min-maxy for my taste. But man, its sense of humor is on point. Take two of these and save one. Wait, do I have any other doubles? One of these. Here you go. There, it's a clam sandwich. <laughs> Daffodil in the middle. Alright. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted. There we go. I should probably not cut the grass until I have a silo. Something weird is in multiplayer with this game, you can like walk into your bed and lay there and you'll recover energy, but you can't do that in single player. It kinda sucks. But that's like a really good way of getting energy back. Uh, 
Uh, I have 16, so that's not enough to cut down a tree. You just need to remain calm and not hit anything. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can catch Sebi, because that's one person off the list. Oh, not the fence. Oh, I'm real on the fence about this, aren't I? Oh, but I'm so shy. What if the new people don't like me? <laughs> this fucking goobis with this slick back ponytail. I hope I can change that soon. I already don't like it. Oh, wait. Gotta talk to you. Of course. You're the new farmer boy, aren't you? Yep. And I, I have a name. You better learn to respect it. Have I ever established the lore with, like, the character in the profile pic? Atlas and Globe. Hmm. Oh, I could probably do something fun with that. All you need to know is that Globe is, in fact, a planet. The little guy in the backpack. And it's Atlas's job to take care of him. Hello, I have come here to ambush your son. I am armed to the teeth, as you can see, with my axe. Greetings, I am Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I like Demetrius, he's cool. If I remember right, this is his and Robin's room, up there is Maru's room, and then down there is Sebi's room. Why does she have her own basement? Weird. Sebi! Wakey wakey, Edgelord. Oh, does he only come out at noon and leaves it too? Shit. I have it wrong, don't I? Or is it four? I mean, I got nothing better to do, so I'll wait. So how y'all doing, chat? What do y'all know about Stardew Valley? I know that it is one of the most incredible indie games ever made. It is full of love and passion. And it's just a genuine good time all around. If you can, I absolutely recommend getting it. Because it's just fun. Oh! He lives. Wait for him, wait for him up here. Sebastian, I knew this day would come. Oh. You just moved in, right? Cool. Yep, we waited an hour just for that. <laughs> an hour and a half, actually. Okay, who haven't we met? There's another kid we can talk to. Uh, Jay? Joey? J jo Joseph? John? Jumpin' Jehoshaphat? <gasps> Abby! Love Abby. She's the best. Uh, is there anyone else at the mart we haven't met? There's probably some people here. Pam! There you are. Name's Pam. You, I cannot speak to. Because it's fucking Joja. Guess what, bitch? I'm broke, so you can't even con me into buying a card. When you decide you want to be a Joja member, I'll be delighted to help make your transition a joyous experience. Trans rights! We at Joja absolutely support trans rights. Definitely not because we pay many, many dollars to cater to you people. Joja would fake being supportive during Pride Month. Absolutely. Wait, this place closes in like 20 minutes, I gotta move. No, Clint, you coward! Who closes at 4 p.m.? Hello. Previous curator ran off everything, so now we can donate artifacts and such. Oh, another daffodil. Yoink! Oh, hey, it's good to see you again. Oh, I did speak to you. Elliot! The weirdly fashionable man who lives in a ramshackle shack on the beach. 
Now, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. You're weird, dude, but I like your vibe. Okay. How many... Oh, wait, I just checked this, can't I? Wait, how do I... Nope, that's the wrong button. Ah! Okay, I'm missing ten people. Oh, there we go. There's some more of them. Vincent. Oh, I thought your name... I swore his name started with a J or something. Penny. This town's safe, but I always walk the children home anyway. Absolute treasure. Did I just say anime by accident? God, I'm a fucking nerd. <laughs> I remember right, tomorrow is like yoga day at the shop, so I can meet a lot of people that way. Oh, there's the elderly couple. Forgot about them entirely. Oh, hi. Jody. Uh, have I spoken to you? Sir, wait! No! Oh. Oh, that works. Alex, nice to meet you. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. She's very sweet. And then there's the boomer. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Stubborn old fool. Uh, wait, I don't have your name yet. Get back here! Ah, Mary Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Oh, I forgot how good your portrait art was. Very nice. Uh, green algae to rub on my sore calves. Please bring one ASAP. Where the fuck am I gonna find green algae? I guess I could fish, but I don't have the energy for it. Not anymore. Okay, who have I not met? A few people. There's Clint, of course. There's Pierre and his wife. There's the crazy one and the wizard. Oh, and the guy who owns the saloon, who I could probably meet right now. Star Drop Saloon. Food and spirits. Don't ask us how we get them in the bottle. We've heard the joke a thousand times already. There are plenty of spirits here around Stardew Valley. No, actually here to talk. Hello? And Emily. You are the crazy one, aren't you? Like the one who's into the occult and magic? Because, God forbid, even a game this well-designed have not have some secret, crazy lore. Like, isn't someone's husband currently overseas? Fighting? Okay, so there's Clint, Pierre, his wife, and the wizard. I believe we can get to all of them... Except for the wizard tomorrow. The wizard, I think, straight up will refuse to see us. Oh! That's convenient. And Pierre's is closed. Oh! It's not closed, per se. It's not exactly open. Oh! The fuck? Okay, Abby's out cold. Yeah! See, this is the shit that I'm talking about. <laughs> what the fuck? Altar of Yoba. Who is Yoba? It feels like a setup for a D's Nuts joke. Oh, hey. Hello, must be Atlas, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. And then Pierre, and I think the only one left is the wizard, who will talk to us eventually. Oh! Okay, that's done. Uh, because I need to give someone a gift. There you go. Oh, he likes... These kinds of flowers, apparently. And I get money! Alright, that's all. Congratulations, I will now almost never speak to anyone in town again. Man, I did all of that on Tuesday. I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> 
And tomorrow's raining, so I can do some good fishing. Or I could get enough wood, possibly, to try and fix the bridge on the beach. Get some good stuff early. Uh, that feels like a risk in and of itself. That takes a lot of energy, and my tools are kind of shit right now. Oh! Well, that does help. Got 230 gold. Okay, how's my luck looking for today? No, not the weather report. Good humor. Good luck. Good timing. Ah! Hey! Oh, we got one of my freaking parsnips. The little shit. Alright, well, northeast I go. Ooh, more depth. I should probably pop some of these into the shipping bin after I check just how much we have. So I don't remember where I put it. Did I? I did. I did store that. So that's a lot. We got a we got some good stuff already. I don't think I'd have to use this. You're very lucky. So much stuff currently occupies my brain at, like, all times of the day. It's not even funny. Oh, that's right. I can change the color. Uh, make it green. Yeah. There we go. I could buy, like, four more potato seeds. That is an option. Oh, hello. Almost missed you. And you. There's golden flowers in these heel heels. Hills. Heels? In my heels. I have plants growing out of my feet. Somehow. Don't ask why. I walk a lot of places barefoot. These aren't shoes, they're actually just hardened dirt. <laughs> In fact, being in the rain runs a huge risk. My legs might start melting, but it's worth it for that fish. Hmm. We are here exclusively. Oh, listen to that. It just hit me. Not a sound. Just rain. I'm actually going to turn my headphones up for this. Oh, yes. Hmm? Oh, that's right. It's the guy doing the mining. Hold on. I don't want to listen to that. I believe what we're looking for is a sunfish? Might be misremembering that, though. Hmm? Oh, hitting B immediately cancels it. Okay. Good to know. I don't know why I keep thinking the item is B. Fish. Damn it! Forgot how much I suck at this fishing. fight with you all day if I had to. I'm getting one. God, the, the bobber moves so fast. Almost gotcha. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! I got a chub. That's a bit judgmental, don't you think? Yeah, that, that was a battle and a half. Sound. 
Oh, didn't someone need algae? Sure, I'll take some money. Where is Alex? You should probably still be inside, considering it's raining out. Alex, Alex, I passed him somehow. There, okay, it is the football kid. Oh, what was that? Thought I saw something moving up there. Hmm? Keep hearing things, and it's making me concerned. There you are, Alex. Brought me the item I asked for. It looks perfect. So here's what I owe you. Thank you. I will take that. I'm not here to make friends. These people are mere means to an end. <clears throat> oh, that's right. Pierce is closed on Wednesdays. How can I forget? Sorry. Uh, let me double check the calendar, as I believe. Okay, so egg day is the 13th. It takes... How many days for strawberries to grow in this game? I'm trying to get everything at once. And it's not good for me, but still. What was it, eight days for them to grow? Eight days. Okay, so that gives us time to grow most other plants. And it'll give us another cycle of, I believe, I believe it gets us another cycle of them. If I plant them immediately. Mm. Alright, back to fishing. You know, while I'm at it, I might as well just look up the necessary fish for the community center and where to find it. We need the catfish. Uh, in the river all day when raining. Sunfish, so it's sunny, shad, in the river. Mm. The eel is only available at night. Whereas the sardine can be caught. Oh, we already caught the sardine. Oh, time doesn't move while I'm doing that. My bad. That feels a little bit cheaty. I'll try not to do it too much. But the shad appears from 9 to 2 in the river. And I think this counts as the river. Sebi! Good to see you. Pam, you can go around, you know. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that's not happening anytime soon. I don't even know what that was. It was nuts. There we go. Smallmouth bass. Ooh, gold star. I believe it goes up to iridium, which is like the next tier after gold. Is there a bronze star? I think there is. It's another bass. I'm going to head back and I'm going to deposit these. We're probably not going to get the shad today. Oh, wait. Is it even available in the in the rain? Yeah, no. It's raining. And only in the rain. For a very small time period. God, I wish I knew how to fish. 
like, at all. I, all I know is to, like, lightly mash the button to catch the most basic of fishes. Oh, wait, not you. Uh, wait, maybe yes, you. Hold on. We need... I think we need those for something? I'm probably wrong. There we go. Okay, do I go back to fishing? What can I even catch? Uh, after 4 p.m., I can start catching eel in the water, in the ocean. And catfish is available in the river all day long, so no reason to stop now. Yes, I am trying this hard in Stardew Valley. I want to do stuff. I want to get the fancy cool things, and soon, and fast, and not have to wait like 30 hours in-game for my next chance to get it. Okay, we'll keep fishing until about 4. <sighs> God, the sound of the raindrops just falling gently. It's so nice. That is not water, sir. Boink. Come on. More algae. Oh, nothing else will be good bait. I thought the ripple was something showing up. We've all done it. We've all heard, like, a random sound effect that just triggers a reaction. Ah! Wait, there's a treasure. Aha! <laughs> I got them both. Turns out I'm not that bad at fishing after all. And what did I get? Stone bait. Hmm. Coal. Can I attach bait to a fishing rod now? Or does it have to be, like, a different rod? I think it has to be an upgraded fishing rod. Eels can start spawning now. I'm gonna head south once we catch this. Yoink! You're a little bit speedier than the smallmouth. Uh, not gonna risk it. This is perfect. Ooh. Hey, it's the shad. Wait, that thing's supposed to only show up between... Hey, I mean, I'll take it. That's one of the big fish I need. Okay, next we go for an eel. There's no way I get all the fish. Never mind, I'm actually out of inventory. Unless I do this. Who knows? Worms! That's a guaranteed relic. Never mind, it's just clay. I've been played. I've been played in the shade by the clay. And the shad. That's a weird name for a fish. Shad. Wonder why. Like smallmouth bass, I get it. It's a bass, bass with a small mouth. Although, judging by that sprite, I don't know how small that mouth is. Chad. Why Chad? It's like Chad, but almost. Probably gonna stay out late tonight trying to get that freaking eel. Remind me, I need to leave by midnight. Because uh, after that, things start getting dicey. Also, wow, this game moves slower than I remember. It's been an hour, and we're only, we're not even done with day three. 
My goodness. I mean, I'm down for it. This means I get to do more, but... Guarantee you, time will feel like it's much faster once we start mining. Like, why don't y'all mine your own business? Uh, shployoink. Come on. Give me that eel. Ha! Huh. And it's a soggy newspaper. Litterbugs! <gasps> Seagulls? My, 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 my. My. My guy, what did the boardwalk do to you? Just trash. Like, it's not even, like, anything specific. It's literally just junk. Trash. It's junk. Soggy newspaper. It's trash. These two are having an identity crisis. Mm -hmm. I did it again. Ah! This one's not moving much. Probably another sardine. Herring. All right. Oh. Whoa, whatever it is, it does not want to be caught. Hold still a minute, you. Hey, we got an eel. Wow, that's almost everything. <laughs> the only thing we're missing is a sunfish, which we literally can't catch today. And catfish, which just seems to be kind of rare and or hard to catch. Okay, I'm going to go store these. And then I'll probably spend the rest of the night cutting down trees. Because I still got energy to burn. Gosh, the color palette is so cool at night. I like it. it feels a little bit weird, but it makes sense. Okay, I'm just going to stash some garbage in here. Herring and eel. Okay. Time to get chopping. Trees are the first ones to go. Hey, hold on. I gotta change up my inventory a bit because this is getting annoying. There we go, that's better. Oh, so much nicer. I'm almost exhausted. Time for me to get on the move. 
You can stay up till 2 in the morning, but after that you pass out. What am I blocked off by? Grass. I should have known. I just realized that that was probably horribly offbeat for most of you. <laughs> I have no idea how to try and counteract that. Hey! Higher proficiency. Proficiency. Ow! Slowly slide the gun into my mouth. Are there guns in Stardew Valley? There probably aren't. Not without a mod. Okay, no crows after my crops. That's good. Got some seeds. That's a start. Just going to casually take a little bit of water. Nope, not you. Okay, I'm probably gonna go grab some crop seeds for now because we want to get as many made as possible before the strawberries become sold or sellable. And that's during the egg festival. Alright. Crops are watered. I have enough for another 10 potatoes. Oh, come on. There we go. That's enough space. Problem is, the more crops I plant, the more likely they are to be messed up by birds. It's a sunny day. We can try and catch the sunfish if we really wanted to. Maybe go for the catfish, but I think the catfish is one of the hardest ones to catch. God, this soundtrack is so good! For no reason whatsoever. Other than why not have an amazing sound soundtrack in an amazing game? Yeah, yeah. Yeet! Well, that was fast. Oh, speedy little one. Oh, if it's gonna be like that, then I'm gonna try and get this treasure. Aha! <laughs> they call me one cast catch all! Large mouth bass and bait. Give me that good fish. By the way, I finally beat Son of Sparta mode in Devil May Cry 5. So, uh, that playthrough is not that far away. It'll probably take actual months, and I should wait until Tears of the Kingdom is done, but... Okay, you... That is a chub. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of chub. Gotta remember that Pierre is open. I need to grab some stuff from him. Algae. Come on, give me a sunfish. Or catfish. I'll take a catfish. Mm, this one likes to stay still. Probably a smallmouth. It's a carp. After this, I'll go drop off stuff and buy from Pierre. It's another carp. Two? Okay, I guess I can catch one more. 
Gosh, this small inventory is going to be the bane of my existence. Ooh, wait, here's something. Here's something funny and fresh. Yoink! <gasps> Bullhead. Not, it's, wow. Okay. Not what I was looking for, but that's something. <gasps> you know what I could do? I could run down to Willy, sell all of these now, get more money, and then I could buy even more seeds from Pierre. That's what we're gonna do. That's the play. Big brain. Willie! Silly Willie! Chilly Willie! Chilly Willie, my goodness. What a cartoon. It's weird how, like, some cartoon characters became iconic when some are just as fun. Like, I would put Chilly Willie up there with Tom and Jerry easily, but I don't think nearly as many people know who that little dude is. He's just a little penguin who doesn't like being cold. go. You can have this one, both of these, and a bullhead. And you know, here, have some bait, because I currently can't use it. Fisher double bed? Weird. Oh, we can have fish tanks. That's kind of cool. Trout soup. Pretty salty. <laughs> All right, sure. Hmm. Oyster. <gasps> Do I spy with my littlest of eyes? Whoa! It's a whole ass book. I'm gonna hit up Willy one more time, because if I can get a thousand, that means 20 more potatoes, baby. That's a lot of taters. Oh, he takes them. How much? Perfect! I know that we can use oysters for something else important, but frankly, I don't care. They're oysters. They're not going to be impossible to find. Oh, sorry. I thought the green starfish was something sparkling in the sand. This is going remarkably well. Like, this might be the best luck of any run I've ever had in this game. We've already got almost all the fish and like another 20 potatoes more than I usually have by now. I guess this is what happens when you actually fucking sweat in this game. Hello, I'll take 20 potato seeds, please. Ooh, or do I get the bean starter and the cauliflower and get those out of the way? Ah, we can do that later. Uh, these take six days, so in theory, we can get these, like, Two full harvests of these in time for the strawberries. And that's not counting the extra stuff we get either along the way. Be careful not to let this get out of control, because it can easily become more than I can handle if I'm not careful. Well, I'll still do my best. No, don't fish. Don't fish in the puddle. You kidding me? Actually, I'd be very impressed if you managed to catch something like that, kid. Like, seriously impressed. Genuinely shocked. Okay. Back to fishing. Here, I'll even toss one of these in. I want to get that catfish and that sunfish off the table. 
because they are major pains. I think. I don't actually remember. Quest board. Any free money? Nope. Nothing. Zip, nada, and zilch. Can't you, like, marry someone in this town before the, like, spring dance? Isn't that a thing? And then you can divorce them by the time the season's through. <laughs> does sound like fun. <laughs> Come on, you. I know you're in here somewhere. Stinky fish! It's another bullhead. That thing feels like it would be rare with its design, but who knows? Also, why is it called a bullhead? I'm so curious about things. Nomenclature is very fun information. For example, most animals are named after, like, the sound that they make. Like wolf. Or how Egyptians called cats meows. Or mouths. If you think hard enough and, like, let your brain sort of stretch the idea... You can actually find that logic in many, many creatures. Like snakes. You know how, like, snakes sometimes do that little click in the middle of their hiss? Like, That almost definitely formed the K in the word snake. It's weird. It's weird, but it's cool. There are a lot of carp in this lake. I hope they don't get depopulated. Oh wait, this is a this is a freaky one. Oh, nice and still. While well, I dredge you up, gotcha. Just a largemouth bass. How dare? How dare you waste my time with such mediocre fishery? This little guy kind of likes to fake me out of it, doesn't he? I'm not going for the treasure this time. I'm here explicitly for the sunfish. Or catfish. I'll take catfish. Whichever one. Whoever shows up first gets to come home with me. And probably gets sold into a kitchen. It's another bass. Well, looks like we're not catching either of them today. I can eat that for more energy. Sadly, I think Willy's is closed. Nope, that's the land. If you manage to catch a fish on land, kid, I'll be even more impressed than if you caught one in the puddle. I am a sucker for those fucking sound effects. Yeet. Any second now. We'll catch our enemy yet. Huh. It's literally garbage. Okay, this is going to be my last cast. I have no more energy. It's going to be something simple. <sighs> Damn it. Alright, let's go toss him in the box. We try again tomorrow. Or wait, do the mines open up tomorrow? Shit, I don't know. I want to get some, th some stuff in the mines going. Because it's valuable. 
And it's the key to upgrading our tools as well as getting some, like, really good items. Like smelters. I don't think I need any of these fish. Let me check the weather tomorrow. Ooh, raining tomorrow. Oh, that means that the sunfish isn't going to show up, so I might as well go mining if it starts. Good luck today, and what's this one about? Oh, right, there's spring onions southwest of town. That's good money. Very good money. I can now craft bait, but I still can't use it. <laughs> wow! I think that's enough for another ten potatoes. Call me an Irishman, because I got potatoes coming out the ears. No, not again. Well, at least I got my parsnips. That's money for even more potatoes! A single gold star one, though. Hi, we sell hats, okay, Poke? Come to old, old, old house, Poke. Bring coins. Hat Mouse. We love Hat Mouse. Ah, uh, okay, so that place is ready. I'm still going to add a bunch of potatoes. Another ten. We should already have enough space. And it'll be water, too, so I really just need to place them and go. But if I am going to the mine today, then I can afford to store you, 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 and you. For now. Hmm. If I go to the mine, if I'm super quick about it, I might be able to get some stuff done there now instead of waiting for Pierre. Eh. We'll wait. We'll wait. Because if I don't have, like, a bottom time moment, then I can... I can keep going. Ooh! Worms! Why do the worms know where the relics are? What wisdom do they have? Where do they acquire said wisdom? And by what means? Who did you kill to know the secrets of the earth? Tell me! Tell me, tell me you apatous piece of shit! Prehistoric tool. Can I use it? Doesn't even look like a tool. Weird. Uh, pop this back in. Do I have anything else that could possibly be donated? I'll take this with me and go pop it into the museum. Along the way, because that is something I need to get done. I can head to the museum, it'll probably be open by then, grab Pierre's stuff on the way back, plant them, and then head straight to the mine. All without using a single unit of energy. This is some Peak efficiency, baby. I'm playing out of my gourd. What do you want? 20 pieces of stone. To be fresh, that means gathered today. I can do that. Should I... Hmm. I'll grab them in the mine, and once I get to level 5, I'll pop back out. Because we're right next to her place, anyways. She op She's open until what? Like... Five? Yeah. That shouldn't be too hard. Gunter! Oh! Already open, you say? A single piece in the entire collection. Well, would you like an incredibly rare artifact, now that I think about it? It's a straight-up tool. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. There you go. I believe the artifacts are, artifacts are organized by category, and depending on how much you fill out each category, you get different rewards. Like gems, uh, tools, actual relics, magical stuff. But it is yours. Hmm, I've got a favor to ask you. Should you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals you, that you find? We make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. 
Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Well, thanks for letting me in early to tell me that. There you go, funny man. Archaeology. More money! And more money! My god. Where is it all coming from? And then if I bring the rocks to Robin, I'll have enough for another 20 potatoes. What is happening? Why is this going so well? This feels wrong. It feels like I'm cheating. I am in need of 20 rocks. And I must gather them now. Sorry, Pierre. You'll have to wait a minute. Okay. I think I go to the mine, get to level 5, gather all of the rocks along the way, drop them off to Robin, and then buy the seeds. In which case, I'm probably taking a very long and unnecessary route, but whatever. Oh, but forging items. I'm going to need energy in case things go wrong in the mines. My luck is good today, so hopefully that won't be too much of an issue. Also, what the fuck do you mean you need fresh rocks? Do rock... You think that they, were, they weren't just sitting there for like thousands of years already? What? Robin's on some other shit. Yo! Wormwood Shop, welcome! Oh, Wormwood's Hope, that makes much more sense. <laughs> Just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. I sound like Willy for some reason. So it's probably good ore down there. You're goddamn right there is. Dark place undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Keep my eye on you. Yourself might make me a member. Good. Anyways, gotta go. Time limit. Perfect. Give me all of the rock. Ooh, copper too. To imagine it's the voice of the TF2 sniper. <laughs> uh, I wish I could remember the sniper's voice. I know the spy is the French man. And heavy, heavy is just Russian. <laughs> I wish I played TF2. It looks like fun, but I just I can't handle any game that has gunplay. It's awful. <laughs> I am awful. Okay, those are the rocks we need for Robin. Now we just move and blitz to the end as fast as we can. <gasps> or Dude, we are getting lucky. There's so much ore down here. All right. Face me. Kindly give me a ladder once you die. Uh oh huh. Wow, they do not like taking damage. Did I just get an amethyst from killing one of these? Dude! Oh my god, it's already noon. We gotta move. Oh, perfect. Uh, I was originally going to play this on PC so I could do modded, but I couldn't figure out the sound audio in time for the stream, so I ended up playing it on my Switch. That being said, apparently choosing the Switch was the right play because, man, we've gotten lucky today. Any of these rocks. 
If it gets to, like, two or three, I may just forfeit the cave. And try and get back to the surface immediately, regardless. I know, I know, sacrilege, playing Stardew Valley on the Nintendo Switch of all things. But it was on sale, man. <laughs> really quickly put that there so I can make faster changes between. Arkham Switch is even worse. Oh, don't even get me started. I can barely run Ark on this PC. Actually, wait. No, it's because it wouldn't, it straight up wouldn't download because I was in the middle of an update. That's right. I never actually found out. Now I'm curious. Also, I am running out of time. Aha! I missed the coal, but that's fine. Eat this so we have space. Alright, this is gonna be incredibly tightly timed. Robin, I have your stupid rocks. Has to be gathered today. What do you mean? What are you doing? We're just trying to min-max as much as possible. No, I actually have to talk to you. Demetrius, kindly get out of the way. Demetrius! Oh my god, is he just gonna sit there and screw me? Are you serious, dude? Oh, thank goodness. Here you go, Robin. Okay. Take the money, and now we have enough for another 20 potatoes. Let's move. Pierre, please stay open. I made space in my inventory just for you. Also, she didn't actually take the rocks, which is weird. But I'm I'm fine with it. Pierre. Yes. Oh wait, he stays open late, doesn't he? Fantastic. Strawberries will sprout in time for us to properly. Get a decent amount of money for Parsnip, so we may be able to get the five Gold Star ones, too. This is going to be tight. But this... this is looking amazing, to be totally honest with you. I'm shocked we're doing as well as we are. Uh, I need my hoe. Time to dig up some dirt. This should be all we need, give or take? I think so. Nope, not even that. God, that's a mess. It's okay. See, now now there's space for a scarecrow, see? De definitely intentional and not me messing up even the most basic of tasks. Definitely not. Uh, we still got some energy. We could go fishing. Well, first things first, let's store these. Wait, wait, what am I doing? There we go. Uh, I could clean up the farm a bit more. I always like to max out fishing first. Mm. I mean, based, but... <laughs> I suck at fishing, so that's not as simple as it sounds. Go. Don't know how far away we are from being able to fix that bridge, but we should be close. Alright, that's the last of my energy. More or less. No, that's like 14. I can cut. I can do a bit more. Uh, I can probably take down this stump. 
Nice. Okay, that's actually the last of my energy. Legitimately cannot do anything else. And because we got our first harvest with the parsnips today, we should be able to get the fertilizer and scarecrow recipe. No, scarecrow first, then we get fertilizer, I think. Probably wrong. Either way. The community center should be opening up soon so we can empty out our inventory a fair bit and then just start selling. Tomorrow's sunny. Yeah. You can call that for today. There we go. Oh, we get both the Scarecrow and the Fertilizer. And the Cherry Bomb. That's some good money. Hmm? Oh! Clint! Uh, hi there. Good morning. I, uh, noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. I'm not stalking you! If you want to get the most out of the ores you find- How is it that he stalks me and knows my every move, yet the moment I need him the most, he's never there? Fuck you, Clint. If you want to get the most out of the ores you'll find, you you'll need a furnace. It just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. The single most useful useful thing you will do for us. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've uh, smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. He just passes out. In sheer terror. Okay, now we should be able to make a furnace or two. I forget how much copper it takes, but I'm pretty sure we have enough. Um, we cannot. How much? 20 copper? Damn it, gotta go mining again. Some items in stock, deluxe fishing pole, and some bait that you can attach to it. Ah, he must taunt me. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in. I'm gonna need you. Not maybe this? Depends on how today goes. I could just grab straight up nine more uh, potato seeds. I mean, there's no reason not to. It's just extra money until we get strawberries. Which I believe is the 13th. These grow in six days. So after tomorrow, we cannot buy any more potatoes because they simply won't grow in time and it's just a waste of money. I also gotta check my luck for today. See how good and or bad it is. Oh boy. This is already getting to be a lot. Oh, I should definitely make a scarecrow. I went on your shoulder yesterday, that sounds like fun. I like crows. They're very smart. Kinda cute for how grim they are, you know? Yeah, it's crows can, if trained properly, can mimic sounds just like parrots. It's weird. I don't know who found that out. But I do think they're cool. Slay 10 slimes, earn your place in the guild. Got it. Okay. I'm gonna go grab those uh, extra seeds. Every little bit counts. <sighs> oh, community center. Never mind. We are probably not getting to the mine today, but still. Hi there. Oh, hi there. I'm definitely not your grandpa reborn. What an eyesore. This whole town should be burned to the ground. It disgusts me, boy. 
This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it. It's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Yeah, I can't believe anyone would want to sit in front of a screen and do something that isn't real for hours on end. That's really weird. <laughs> Listen to me. I sound like an old fool. The Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a Droja Co membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Uh, here, let's go inside. <laughs> Why did that sound like he was loading a gun? <laughs> you know too much, boy! If you enjoy Violent Old Men, make sure to follow for our for our next Ace Attorney playthrough when that eventually happens. <laughs> hmm? What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Ah! Junimo! What? What's the matter? Are you ill? You saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Yeah, are rats green and have Kirby-like bodies? They actually do look like Kirby characters. Kinda love it, though. You're worrying me, Atlas. This boy's gone mad! Looks like I'm... look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. You can, uh... Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. <laughs> oh, that fucking idiot. Anyways... Uh, oh... My arteries! <laughs> Strange, I'll have to come back and explore this building further. This birthing filter? <laughs> Oh! Better believe I'm gonna explore this now. Gonna need to grab this. Cannot currently read it. And I believe the wizard will talk to us tomorrow about it. So that's good. And now... What was I going to do? Right, more seeds. Never such a thing as too many seeds. Minecraft enchanting table. It does look like it, doesn't it? I have a craving for bream. Yeah, well, good luck with that, Evelyn. Those things are hard to find. We'll check what my luck is on the TV. If it's good, then I'll still go to the mine, but if it's bad, then I'll probably just spend the rest of the day clearing out the farm. Gonna need my tilling stick. And this. Ugh, excuse me. Oh yes, I also have to build the crow. Can't forget. So to build one, it takes... Coal, wooden fiber. Well, thankfully I have some coal. Pull 
plonk him right... Okay, I guess there, for some reason. Oh! More seeds! Level 40, forging ahead, initiation. Now, what is my luck looking like? Tomorrow is sunny, that's good. Neutral. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna grab two more seeds, because of course, there's exactly two spots left, I've got to. And I'm gonna try again for that sunfish. And the catfish, those little shits. Want it, need it, gotta have it. Hello, Pierre. Yes, I'm back. I'm addicted to your product. What do you want from me? Hey, Abby. Abby eats rocks, and I don't know why. It's not even a joke. If you give her an amethyst, sometimes she'll say, Ooh, delicious, my favorite. And I'm just sitting here like, Girl, you good? And... Blanc. Blink. There we go. Look at all that money in the field just waiting to be picked up. Okay, I'm gonna go pop some stuff in the old chest. So that way I have plenty of space for the fish I'm going to catch that are all duplicates. Now it says they're river fish and they show up all day during the sun. So I can basically keep going at this until I run out of energy. Oh, look at them going on a little field trip. That's cute. I like Penny. She's very nice. She means well. And there's Shane, who's just the greasiest motherfucker I've ever seen. No patience for anyone, that guy. Speaking of no patience, we are back to fishing, so that's fun. Hmm? Oh, god. Sometimes the sound effects in this game throw me for such a loop, I thought that was an actual door. Damn it! That little boop gets me every time. Hey, Willie. Please don't walk specifically along the edge of the water. Yeah, that's it. Keep walking. Oh. Again with the algae. Come on, baby. Give me something good. Take one less concern off my mind for the season. Okay, it's a little bit speedy. Another small amount. My god. Okay, I'm moving to another patch of water. Maybe next to the bridge. That usually ends up a bit luckier. Not this bridge, the other bridge. No, the other, other bridge. <laughs> there we go, this one. It's my lucky spot. More or less. I almost always do my fishing around here. Oh! Something. That's another small mouth, isn't it? Oh! 
Hey, that's one of the ones we're looking for, I think. So well, let's let's see catfish. Pam, mm -hmm. don't you dare. You can walk two feet to the left. There we go. Again with the out. You know what? I'm not going to complain. I have the sunfish. I need nothing else. But I would like to have that catfish. Do certain fish only spawn with certain rods? Probably. That would make sense. But I'd really like it if it didn't, you know? Okay, let me double check this little fucking wiki thing I have. Uh, all day. Oh, it's during the rain. Okay, I'm a fool. <laughs> but yeah, we have everything but the catfish. So that's good. Just wait for the next rainy day, I guess, and then we hunt the water. Jazz, hurry up, kid. You don't want to get lost. <laughs> I hate that I have a compulsive evil laugh. That makes sentences like that just seem so much more awful. Careful, Jazz. You don't want to get lost. <laughs> oh. My goodness. I have a lot of fish. I should probably get rid of some of these small mouths. There we go. And I guess I could toss the... Nah, that's energy. Just eat it. Why does it crunch? Sir, that is a wet plant. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry, I prefer my algae boneless, but I guess you do you, dude. There we go. Boink. 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 Feels good to take down trees. Makes me feel powerful. There we go. Oh, about to run out of energy. Got enough to take up the stump at least. Takes like 300 wood, doesn't it? To uh, fix the bridge by the beach. Hmm. Uh, there is a sort option, isn't there? There we go. That is nice. It does help. Alright. Let's go check the weather for tomorrow. Clear and sunny, so no point in fishing. Luck is neutral. Yeah. So tomorrow we could head to the mines. I think. That's probably what we'll do. Oh, no, wait. Tomorrow the first potato harvest comes in. Damn. We're going to have to run by Pierre. All right. First big money. Let's see it. 200 gold. That'll give us enough for one more run of potatoes. But then we're going to have to bring all of them with us to the Egg Festival so I can sell them to them. Okay. Other report. Sunny day tomorrow again. Oof, bad luck today. So much for the mine. It's okay. I can just clear the farm. Ah, yes. Can't forget that. Okay. It's a decent harvest. Next, I need water. And I'm gonna need to save my energy because who knows what we're going to pull up from this. 
I should probably water these now while I still have a chance. The worst thing about Scarecrows is that I always forget about the one crop exactly behind them. Every time without fail. I don't even know if there's anything back there anymore. I probably forgot to water it yesterday, and it's just dead. I remember the first time I played this game. I, um, I didn't understand how the seasons worked. I thought it would be like an actual calendar. With like 12 months and everything, and you play like 5 years in game. No, it's a 4 month calendar. And each season is 1 month. So, um... I thought that the next month I would have, like, all of my spring crops still okay. I was kind of banking on that. Like, I saved until the end of the season, and I bought, like, a bunch of expensive stuff, and uh, then they all died. So, uh, that's how my first attempt at playing Stardew Valley went. Thankfully, I have learned a lot since then. Oh, right, the wizard. Can't forget. Delivery. Oh, no. Get out of here with this. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not gonna find you, Bream. You kidding me? That fish is rare enough on the days it spawns. What else you got? Put iron bar in my great-grandfather's tombstone? No way! That's like 60 further floors in the mine, dude. You kidding me? Um, okay, it is open today, but not on Wednesdays. Gotta remember that. Okay, should be open. Hello, Pierre. One parsnip and 11 potatoes. That gave us almost a... Th that gave us over a thousand, I think. I will take 22 more, please. So that was 80 per, so this is all this alone is like almost 2,000 in potatoes. And that's not even counting the stuff that we have already planted and slowly growing. So after I plant these, gotta stop by the wizard. Trigger that, and then I can start filling in the community center. Oh man, that's a lot of seeds. Okay. That's 10. That means we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. No, aim for the plants, bud. I know you can do it. the slow walk, too. That'll help with my aim. Okay. So, uh, let's go visit the wizard. There should be a path I carved out down this way. Yep. Watch, there's gonna be a bunch of stuff in front of his house, and I need to clear it to go see him. Hey, Jazz. Let's see. Oh, you. Forgot about you. Love that pig. Its style is on point. He has style. He has grace. He has a very small and chubby face. I love him. Uh, 
All right, Mr. Wizard Man. Give me the green. What's up, dude? Ah, uh, come in. Oh. Pardon me, my bones are made out of wood and they creak the same way. Also, my head is huge. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred... Yeah, you get the point. Anyway, anyways, we uh, ran out of... Pr uh, budget, that's the word. We ran out of budget for the dialogue. And you, Atlas, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. What's your deal, Magic Man? <laughs> I like your funny words, Magic Man! Behold! Exodia! <laughs> Obliterate! Oh. It looks like it's in pain. Dude, what the fuck? You've seen one before, haven't you? Very entertaining creatures to play with. You bastard. They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Probably, definitely not because I currently hold them captive with this very painful magical sphere. <clears throat> uh, anyways. I've killed it. Not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. I found a tablet. We found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. <laughs> Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I will turn shortly. Shia Kazim! And he's gone. Why is this soundtrack vague? Blop! I found the note. Just a little shortcut I have from this exact spot to my front door. Helps with catching the pizza guy. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Apparently you can, like, just screw over the community center and buy a... thing with Joja to get the same benefits. One with the forest. What do they mean? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck did you do while I was gone? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh god, that is... That is a horrifying portrait. Come here. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Particularly a wide variety of mushrooms. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. <laughs> the essence of the forest permeate your body. That's what we call it. Glug glug. Oh, got more energy. Well, and I'm turning green. Now you shall become a Junimo. Oh god, I'm tripping! This is the joke that literally everyone makes during this scene! I wake up and I'm just a tree. <laughs> I told you you would become one with the forest. See those trees? They are everyone else who has fallen for this. That little cross on the top looks like an eye, and the lump looks like a nose and a mustache. That's your real grandfather. <laughs> Alright, cool. Time to go reap the benefits of my effort. <laughs> I didn't know she did jump up out here. That's kind of cute. Very nice animation work. God. This game is made almost entirely by one dude, and I find that the single most earth-shattering, like, discovery I've ever made in my, all of my life. 
As if I made that discovery. You know what I mean. Like, one dude did all of this. Like, granted, it wasn't entirely by himself, but he's responsible for, like, a lot of it. Okay, grab as many fish as I can carry. I need the sardine, the shad, and the sunfish. Don't need these. I think I need you for something. And I need one, two, three, four. Am I forgetting anything? I don't think so. I could stop by the museum and drop off the amethyst. Sure, why not? I also have to make sure I don't accidentally talk to anybody. Because if I do, I'm just going to give something away by mistake. I should be holding this then, in case that happens. It probably won't, and there's no reason why I would accidentally talk to somebody, but better safe than sorry. All right, Jinomos. Ask, and you shall receive. Here you are. There you go. That one there. I know it doesn't matter what order you put them in, but still, it's very satisfying for my brain. And complete. Spring seeds. That is a lot of them. And that should open up more of these. Is the other one for the fish? Please say yes. Yes! No, it's not. It's going... No, it is. Okay. I thought I was going to circle in on the bulletin board. Perfect. Excuse me. Don't think I have enough energy to properly, um... Hmm. Ocean fish. Well, you need the sardine. I know that. Uh, specialty fish. We do not have... So wood skip. Nope. None of these. Crab pot. Oh, here we go. That's something. Night fishing. You need an eel. Oh, the bream shows up at night. Okay. River fish, you need the shad, the catfish, the sunfish, and the tiger trout, which I think only shows up in fall. Fish, is there anything I didn't check? Lake fish? Oh! We do need largemouth bass, and carp, and bullhead. Darn it, game! You had me thinking otherwise. I think that's everything I can donate. Yeah. Pretty sure. So next to the crop bundles, which are going to be very difficult. Easily the biggest issue in the game, at least this early, is the spring crops, because we have... We can get all of these, but the one we need is quality, which takes five gold parsnips, which means we're going to have to plant like a hundred of these things and take care of all of them. Crimson bundle. A little bit tricky. Animal. Fall crops. Hmm. I'll do what I can. But... Knowing my luck, that's probably around where everything's going to fall apart. Okay, I'm going to try and take care of all of these spring seeds today. Or... How much do they sell for? Pierre? Riddle me this. Don't. I ate it. Never mind. Well, at least I got energy. Can't sell fish to you. Okay. Good to know. How about seeds? These are worth a thousand and fifty? Why? <laughs> I mean, y you know what? I'll take it. 
If I hurry, I can plant all the extra potatoes that'll give me. And they'll grow in time. Gonna eat a raw fish like I'm a bear. Alright, I think that's like a definitive cap on the amount of money we can get. After this, it's just like little things we do throughout the day. Give me this, and this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then that again, but one less. I'm sure the crops themselves would have sold more than the seeds, but right now, this is what I needed. Those strawberries are our number one goal. The more of them we can get, the better. No ifs, ands, or buts. I had another D&D session last night with my friends. It was a lot of fun. Not everyone could show up, so we just did a one-shot, and it was a blast. I loved it. One of the things I'm... Oh, that's not the normal speed I should be going. One of the things I'm learning more about the game is that, like... Just how free you are to do whatever you want. Because, like... The first character I ran was a monk. And he, I'm basically just there to punch stuff and try and guide people to, like, a sort of moral path. But then I realized... Just because I'm not, like, a thief... Doesn't mean I can't steal shit. So, during the one-shot, I made just a bard who was amazingly charismatic and had them focus on, like, deception, persuasion, improvisation, performance. Just so I could play as many people as possible and fool them. And it was a blast. Except for the fact that the DM chose quite possibly the most wholesome campaign imaginable. Like, oh my god. We had one of our... One of the player characters was just obsessed with giving out stickers. That is how pure and innocent it was. Literally left a sticker everywhere we went. I'm just like, damn it, I can't be evil during this. Andy is cool. I wish I could, like, get better at it. As far as, like, the, the DM side of it goes. I want to, like, create a couple of adventures. You know? I cannot cut this tree down, can I? Nope. I can, however, clear out these little things pretty handily. It's good fiber, too. Could use some more fiber in my diet. Let me tell you. Can we all agree that toilet humor is just not that good? Because, like, you might say, oh, yeah, that's, it's dumb, but there's still, like, a million jokes on the internet of pee-pee-poo-poo, ha-ha. And I will say, I will say, the reason toilet humor is so unbearable because it's all the exact same joke, and we've all heard it a billion times before. None of it's original, none of it's clever. It sucks. It just straight up sucks. Like, the reason we still find calling someone stinky funny at all is because it's just like, 
been so long, it's kind of circled its way back around. Like, if you come out as a grown man and just call me stinky, I'm gonna laugh. Because that, I find that funny. That you still think that carries weight. It's weird, man. Comedy works in weird ways. How do we at all enjoy dark humor? All logic means that that should not make us laugh in any conceivable way, but here we are. Giggling like children. It's just the mind. The mind fascinates me. How we piece together things in such strange ways. I wish I knew. Yeah, okay, I'm not doing the slow walk anymore. Just way too tedious. Chat, what do you think the most important thing in life is? That is a very... It's a very interesting question, I think. Because it will tell you so much about a person. I, I say life itself is by far the most important. This is the one thing that cannot be replaced, restored, supplemented, or synthesized. Like, as hard as we try, it won't be quite the same. At least for now. And yet, oddly enough, I would take immortality if it was on the table. Because here's the thing, chat. That is not nearly as impossible as some of you may currently believe. Like, back in high school, like five years ago for me, there was this, like, huge thing that I found out about in my engineering class because, of course, of course I'm going to find out weird mechanical stuff in engineering. But it was about this little electronic rubber sleeve they had developed. It had a small, like, battery attached to it. And what it would do is you could put it around a human being's heart, and it would pump the heart when it couldn't pump itself. And it's like, that is such a huge piece of keeping a person alive that is just quite simply synthesized. Like, they did that five years ago, and it wasn't even that complex of an idea. So strange to me. Imagine what we're capable of now. Like, actual prosthetics are starting to become a thing. Fucking Mr. Beast is out here curing blind people. Which, by the way... How the fuck does anyone see that and go, that's evil? Like, what? I see so many people talking about, like, oh, he just helped, like, 50 people get their sight back. He's the devil. Like, how? What jaded world do you live in? That you think a person should keep their sight lost, according to your own ideals. Like, what? I just, I, I don't understand some people, man. There are some degrees of stupid I will never be able to withstand or tolerate. Okay, here's, here's one I saw. I, I watch a lot of freaking Reddit compilation videos because, I don't know, it's just like good background noise and sometimes I find out cool stuff and sometimes I find out stuff that makes me want to punch a wall. Um, what I saw was this woman panicking. It's like r slash religious fruitcake or something. Panicking about uh, an episode of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse where Pete the Cat had the stereotypical angel on the shoulder, devil on the other. And was like, wow, I cannot possibly let my daughter ever watch this again. And I'm just sitting there trying to think about what on earth went through your head that made you think that was a good idea. Like, that's the response you should have for this. It's like, let's think about this for a second. The whole point of that concept is not to put the freaking little devil dude on a screen. The whole point is to create a sim... like a sim... a sort of symbolism for temptation and to fight against it using, like, a demonic figure as a metaphor. 
And even then, if it's not a metaphor, you can literally take that as advice to don't fucking listen to a demon. So, congratulations, lady. You have now decided to not let your child learn the very valuable lesson of don't trust a fucking demon. Even by your own absurd, ridiculous logic, that still doesn't make sense. Like, what? You see what I'm saying? I, I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't get into religion and, sh and stuff like that. That's a very uncomfortable topic. But you see my point. Oh no, this program warned my child about something that exists that's negative. Can't let them see that. The fuck? That, let's wait for my return with the dawn of your third year grip. <laughs> That? Excuse me? I, I completely forgot that's a thing. I've never actually seen this. What do you mean, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year? That's ominous as fuck. But yeah, it's just like, the things that concern me the most are general intolerance and people refusing to even look a direction that disagrees with what they have always thought. What a boring life that is, by the way. You don't ever want to change your opinions. Why not? There's so many more things to learn and understand as you go. How can you stomach, like, constantly being the exact same version of yourself and never changing? I guess I should judge. There was a time where I was terrified of change, too. I still kind of am, but, like, what concerns me more is unwanted change of myself. Like, okay, right now, I'm, I'm very happy with how my life is. I'm very lucky. I am able to do this stream almost daily with no real issues and hopefully begin making a living off of it. That's the end goal, anyways. And it's not as far out of reach as it was previously. It feels doable. And, like, doing this job does not leave me, like, frustrated. It doesn't leave me too anxious or upset or exhausted. I feel good doing this job. I like doing this job, and I want to continue doing this job. And that's, like, the kind of change that I find myself nervous about. Because, like, I'll admit, it's kind of a dumb idea to think that you can just start streaming and within a year you'll be making enough money to support yourself. Like, that was, that was a huge gamble in and of itself. Granted, I think I've come pretty far. Like, compared to my first stream, where you literally couldn't hear a single thing, and it crashed every five, five minutes on the dot, I think I've come very far. But, like, this kind of thing takes time and genuine commitment, as well as thorough understanding of things, and a fair bit of luck. Like, I have to hope that I happen to pull in enough people and reach the right people who like what I do. There is a little bit of luck to that. And, like, the answer to that would be to try and do things that appeal to everyone, which is, like, it's one of the reasons I took Stardew Valley into account for what to stream in the uh, open time slots this week. But then there's that part of me that also wants to just do what I love. And that's why, like, Devil May Cry also exists on the channel. Because I love playing that game. Even if it's 4, and the last level's a 4, where it kind of sucks. Oh, right. Can't, uh, go burning all my energy. I gotta be careful. First day, we haven't really left the farm. But our energy is getting kind of tight, so I have to be... I have to find something to use these this time for. And honestly, this is pretty good use, keeping the farm... Starting with clearing some of, like, the more tedious objects. It's pretty good. <sighs> but yeah. But those big questions, those are good things to fill the space with. If I could give you advice on, like, what to do for starting a stream. Uh, first and foremost, like, study up. 
because like I didn't know anything about how to handle audio, and that absolutely was a detriment for a long, long time. But um, be willing to try stuff. That's one of the most important things. I, I can't pretend that I'm an expert, because again, I haven't even been doing this for a year yet. Although, a couple of months, hmm? Oh my god, it is a couple of months. I've almost done this for a whole year. But, um, hello. Little artifact spot. Just some clay. It's fine. But, like, try things and see what audience you gel with the best. Variety is the spice of life, and it also applies to content pretty damn well. Find the things that you enjoy doing, and find the ones that pull in people. Oh, Geode. Still have enough for, like, another six or seven swings. And one more. All right. Let's go store everything we have. Hmm. <sighs> All right. What's today's luck looking like? Tomorrow rains. Bad luck today, though. That's fine. We're not going to the cave. I have too much to take care of here. Hello. Stone scattered around your farm. Oh, she can give us a well with a thousand gold and seventy-five stones. Yeah, that's definitely a fair trade, Robin. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna pop this in the bin, cause not the bin, the uh, storage. Just remembered I need that for the crops bundle. <sighs> God, the, pe the peaceful tone of this game is so nice. I'm planning on streaming it again tomorrow, so... Any of you watching the VOD, if you're interested, pop on by if you can. Also, okay. Little thing I've been meaning to try and give like a like a genuine test to. If you could, could you tell one person about me? One person. Because a lot of a stream's like growth potential is foot traffic. And while that's nice, I want to see if like actively spreading if word of mouth still has as much impact as it does in the technological era. It really is just me asking, like, hey, give me advertising. And I hope that's not too rude of me. But it does help, you know? Like, all of this is largely dependent on you guys, so... I don't feel too bad about asking for help. You know? And by the way, no one should ever feel bad about asking for help. I don't care. Because, like, the world... The world does a lot of messed up stuff and try to convince you that the way things are, even if they're bad, is the way it's always supposed to be, that's not the case. That is absolutely not the case. Always strive for just the best version of the world you think should be there. No ifs, ands, or buts. Oh, well thank you. I forgot that I could check that. But yeah, like, face the things you do not like about the world and fight to change them. Fight as loud and as hard as you can. The, lo the loudness of how hard you fight is something even more important. That's something like a lot of people don't talk about. Because you can fight as hard as you want, but if no one knows about it, it's going to be very hard for you to gain traction against the entire world. If you fight loud and enough people hear you, some people will poke out and come to help. There are good people in the world. As much as a lot of people would like you to believe otherwise, as much as many people themselves believe otherwise, there is good in the world. And there will be for quite some time to come. And 
let's see. I'm gonna go drop this off at the community center. I can actually check what we need from here. Night fishing, river fish. I sold all of those like an idiot. I can do a bit of fishing over there, get some stuff back. I can probably get all three of these in one day. The sturgeon's going to be a tricky one. Ocean fish. The bream comes out at night. Red snapper, I believe, is not this season or the tilapia. Crab pot. I can drop by the beach. Probably get some stuff for that. I forgot my fishing rod. The entire point of going out this far. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Actually, chat, pause real quick. I will be right back. See you in a bit. Almost forgot to unmute. That would have sucked. <sighs> right? Not the keyboard. I know it's a computer game, but it's not actually on the computer. There we go. Oh, that threw me for a loop. 
Where are we? Right! Gathering fish. For the community center. Stash this. Actually, all of these. I'll also take this with me, and do we need the chub for anything? I don't think so. Neither of these are... Are they? No, they're not part of the bundle. I drop this off the community center. I can give this to Gunther at the museum. And we can figure shit out from there. Ooh, I can also benefit from a little bit of extra energy. Because, uh, kind of low. That is a lot. Holy crap. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Leek. 25 from eating dandelions. Aren't those things, like, kind of toxic? Okay, I'm almost full on energy. That guarantees some good fish in the deck. Oh yeah, Tuesday's the day where they, um, do their thing. What were we talking about, chat? That's right, we're getting kind of deep, kind of heavy with it. For no real reason. I don't mind getting heavy on topics. Actually, I do mind. It's just that, like, I don't mind approaching, like, bigger topics so long as I can keep, like, a lighter mood with them. You know what I mean? It's just kind of easier to, like, approach the bigger pictures with optimism, even if it's kind of pointless and biased. Like, a lot of people will say the world is a messed up place and it sucks, but I think the world is fucking incredible and we may have messed it up, but there's still hope. Depending on the person, it could be very hard to give up hope. That got fucking dark, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it's the big questions that I like, and that's an odd thing for me to talk about on stream. Very uncomfortable. Well, for some. It really does depend on the person, doesn't it? <sighs> but it's hard to look at the world and some of the things in it and genuinely ignore the possibility of it truly being beautiful. Like, right now, it's raining outside, and I love the rain so much. Especially, like, the later in the year it gets, because that's just nice, cooling things to keep the sun at bay. Ah, wrong button. <sighs> But I love the mm -hmm. rain. If it was any warmer out, I'd gladly go out for a walk. Because it is a relatively gentle rain. If it's a downpour, then I'd need a coat. I don't really have a coat anymore. Wish I did. Oh! Fish. Alright, what you got? Come on. The bass. We need you. We need the carp and the bullhead from here. You know what else is beautiful? Wind. Wind is a very pretty sound. No. Nope. Ah. You're not gonna escape from me. And I'll get the treasure. Ha! It's another bass. Even bigger than the last one. Ooh, what the fu- Iron ore! Grows faster to plant near a body of water. Hmm. I can plant that. Don't see why not. Am 
Come on, give it to me. Yep. I knew you'd be a speedy one. Try all you like, you cannot escape from me! Hey, Bullhead! All we need is a carp. Wait, isn't this the pattern of the carp? Hold on, did I... My god, this run has been so unbelievably lucky. I say this run as if we're... it's like a roguelike. But like... Playing through this game usually doesn't end this well for me. Nope, it's a chub. That makes sense. It's like, there's no way we get the carp that fast. I do like roguelikes. I should play more on the channel, it's just that they get very old very quickly for viewers. Learn that the hard way with Slay the Spire. Which is still a game I love. Love Slay the Spire. It's so good. There's another game that uh, came out recently, Wild Frost. I wanted to do on the channel, but I couldn't afford it. Sadly. But these things happen. Very cute style. It's artwork. I don't know who does it, but my god. Give me the carp! Hey! Alright. So that's, I think, all the lake fish we can get. That guide freaking sucked. <laughs> Didn't say anything about needing these. Okay, I can spend the rest of the day clearing out more of the farm. Because now that we have the Scarecrow, we can effectively do something about it. Uh, it's a catfish and the tiger trout. Not what I need. Lake fish. Here we go. One of those. A one of them. And one of these. Nice. What else is there? There's night fishing, which means we can get the walleye and the bream. I don't know if either of those spawn this time of year, but I should probably go checking. Uh, crab pot. That's right. I wanted to go looking for some of these. Uh, ocean fish, there's the br tuna. Oh, wait. Where do you spawn? I don't remember. Like, obviously the ocean, but like... Hmm. I can go looking for the catfish. It does spawn this time of year. It's just rare. And probably decently hard to catch, because that is a big freaking fish. I threw myself for a loop pretty hard there because I forgot, oh, the fish aren't by season, they're by location. And while this does have a season guide that I'm looking at, it doesn't cover the fact that there are some fish you can catch at any season. Come on. Why don't a little guy breathe it? You can see his shoulders go up and down. Weird. Kind of a cool detail. Oh, too high. There we go, that's better. Yoink. Small mouth. Hooray. Oh wait, catfish is, a, is during the rain, isn't it? I can catch that tomorrow. Possibly, if I'm lucky. Yeah, after I catch whatever this is, I'm just gonna go back to the farm and start clearing up. <clears throat> oh! Wait a minute, you're a river fish? No, you're not, are you? I guess I would be late enough to catch you if you are. Now, where the heck's the walleye? Right, not you. I'm here for the community center. Yeah, it is pretty late, isn't it?
Hmm. Is it that bad for me to be using a guide on a game like Stardew Valley? I don't think so. This is just the way that helps me have fun the fastest and the most. Uh, Bream. Nope. You. So a walleye. Where do we find a walleye? Alright, so the walleye can only be found in autumn. Got it. Good to know. But yeah, tomorrow we go hunting for that catfish. Let's get back and start clearing. I could probably sell the rest of these fish, because now I know none of them are useful for anything. <sighs> Such a calm and pleasant vibe this game has. So good. It really is a change of pace from just about everything else I've done. I don't think I've played a single game that's explicitly calm on this channel. Some games have had calming music, but most of them are just tense as fuck. Especially when you compare it to the Devil May Cry games. Holy crap! I could plant those now. Let me go uh, grab the hoe. We have five of them, and they do well next to water. So I will put one, two, three, four, five. And do they do they need watering? They're already surrounded by water. I don't I don't know. I'm still gonna water them just in case because that seems like a stupid idea not to. Okay, I'm probably just gonna focus on trees for now because we need some more wood. And sap. I want to have enough sap to make decent fertilizer. It is sap for that, right? Yep. Just some sap, but it takes two. It takes two to make this thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. What game were we playing? Where we found the voice actor for Dr. Hakim from It Takes Two. Oh, it was Dragon Quest XI. He voices, uh, Sylvanda's dad. Don Rodrigo. It's so weird. Voice actors have so much power in, like, the media. Actually, no, I, I shouldn't pretend like I know anything about how voice actors' lives go. Those guys have it rough quite a bit. Not just on the business side, like, the fan base will give them hell for no reason, because people are fucking stupid. <sighs> Alright, that should do us well for a bit. One more. Okay, and tomorrow rains, so everything will be watered, and I can hunt that freaking catfish. Which spawns all day. So, nothing can stop me. Uh, weather report. Yep, rain tomorrow. Fortune teller says... Never mind, that's not even applying to tomorrow. That's just today. Alright. Oh. Survival burger. This burger knows how to make a fire without creating smoke. God, if I was in a survival scenario, I would be so screwed so fast. You have zero idea how bad it would end up. Apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage. Yeah, okay. You want me to upgrade you. Or get the upgrades from you. Any but. Time to fish. I believe it is... Is it a river fish? Or is it a lake fish? It's a river fish. Okay. So, we go into town. Pierre's is not open today, sadly. 
Let's see if we can get to the Egg Festival before the stream's done. That shouldn't be too difficult. Should be very possible, in fact. Just grab this. You don't even give me energy, do you? You're just wasting a slot. The audacity! Alright. Catfish, I'm coming for you. Don't give me a catfish. Costs $2 a pound, but you can catch it with bait. That's $13 a pound, like shrimp. <laughs> oh! I missed the wrong fucking button. Damn it. That is weird. That's because catfish are so big. Shrimp are so little. <laughs> oh, you didn't get me that time. Next one, you're probably gonna fool me, though. I bet so. I... Aha! It's a broken CD. Man. I remember when freaking DVDs came in and just swiped out all freaking videotapes. Then I remember... And then freaking like Wi-Fi and shit immediately did the same thing to DVDs. And flash drives. God. It's weird how quickly things become outmoded. We move way too fast as a collective. Like, something about that ain't right. Oh, okay, this is gonna be... I... That was definitely the catfish, wasn't it? That thing's gonna be a nightmare to catch. Algae. Hey, it's food. I'll take it. More energy means more fishing. More energy means more fishing. Okay, it should be something pretty simple. Okay, I need to refill this if I want to get the treasure. Well, that's fine. It wasn't a catfish. That's not what I'm here for. Give me the fish! Why do I constantly just devolve into a western accent? I live in fucking New England. Oh, there you are. Oh, wait, it started glowing again! Oh. I'll get you. I'll fucking get you, you fishy bitch. What if I just, like, close the game and reload the day if I don't catch it? <laughs> oh, that'd be so bitter. Genuinely kind of funny. Mm -hmm. I shall have more salt than the Red Sea. Or the Dead Sea. That's the, that's the salty one. Come on. Yoink. You little shit, you zoomed right to the top. He's he's starting to bait me. I don't like it. I'm the one who's supposed to bait you. I'm the one with the hook. More algae for the supplies. <laughs> My collection of gooey sea plants grows ever greater. It's probably much easier to do this with like a different rod. But I'm still gonna try. Probably another small mouth. Oh, no, it's a shad. A big one. This catfish is a little shit, ain't he? I want to get him this season, but it's going to be nearly impossible at this rate. 
probably get him eventually if I try hard enough. Because, man, that's a lot of time I could be using in the mines. Mining is usually what I do in Stardew. Yeah, that's definitely not a catfish. It is going up kind of slow. What are you, then? Another small mouth. A very small, small mouth. God, am I really contemplating soft resetting for a fucking catfish? Or would it be hard resetting? I forget. You're way too still. Oh! It's a catfish! He's juking us! Oh, you little shit! We almost had him. We can do this. I can- I can feel it. That might not have even been the catfish. That might have just been something else with the way it acted, but still. Oh, I'm gonna get this little sucker. You shake a lot. It's a small mouth. Oh, I'm getting heated, chat. I'm getting heated. How did I find a way to be tense and anxious in Stardew Valley? Oh, I almost fell for it. Ha! God damn. Why so many CDs explicitly? We found no other garbage in the river. Okay, I think this is another small mouth. Nope, it's a shad. Sucks that different tiers of fish don't stack. This one's so slow, it's kind of suspicious. Nope. Just another smallmouth. Oh, and it's a gold one this time. Come on! You're eating up my inventory space. Okay, I'm gonna... Munch on some of these. Consume the algae. And the fish. You know what? Hole. <laughs> Just eat the entire fish in one bite. Like a hot dog. Like the like some people do with like corn dogs and shit. <laughs> Ugh. Come on, you fuck. Another shad. And it's a gold one. Stop giving me new records! I appreciate it, but still. I only have so much inventory. Oh, oh. Pay attention up a bit quicker. Supposed to show up all day long, so it shouldn't be gone. Ooh, that one started moving immediately. I'm getting so paranoid, I'm starting to see it everywhere. Another shad, at least that one was guaranteed to stack. <sighs> I'll get you. I'll fucking get you. What are you doing? Whoa, where are you going? I think there was a shad again. Nope, small mouth. 
I, do I even know what I'm talking about with these, like, reaction patterns? Only the catfish moves that fast. That much I know for certain. Which kind of makes it almost impossible to catch at this point. But I believe. I believe in the power of fish. And broken CDs, apparently. It's definitely not a catfish. Uh, I'm I'm actually considering doing a reset for this. I want this bastard. This is another small mouth. Yep. Ugh, it's getting late. Spent an entire day hunting this bastard. Another low tier. Man, these fish loot boxes aren't all that. <laughs> oh, now there's breams in the mix. That's right, it's after six. This is when they start spawning. But maybe that'll increase the chances of finding a catfish. Some of the day fish will stop spawning. Really? <laughs> okay, I guess they also spawn all day long. Not the Shad, though. I'm pretty sure it's definitely stopped. Oh, this one's got a little bit more gumption to it. It's another small one. How many has, has it been? Caught like 13 fish. <sighs> I just realized it said all day, which means it might not spawn at night. That would kind of check out, actually. Or maybe it's wrong. Maybe it doesn't even spawn all day. It was mm -hmm. wrong about a couple other things. Am I actually considering doing the fucking reset for this one fish? Sure, I, I need the energy. Ugh. Thumbs are getting sore. From the sheer amount of fishing. This isn't very efficient. Really? The shit joke like that? What? Oh, you bastard. Apparently it likes dad jokes. Who'd have thought? Does the catfish want to play with some string? Don't you dare. There's no fucking way. No, that's like a- that's a small mouth or a bream. There's- Or Shad, I guess they show up this late. <sighs> I'll head back at like midnight. Man, I'm so sure we were gonna get this. At least now we know it can spawn at night. That's good. It's just that now there's more fish in circulation. Silver Bream, we only have one slot left. If we catch a golden bream, I'm gonna leave, and that'll that'll probably be all for this day. God damn it! Come on! 
know you're in there. Yep. I mean, either we catch a gold bream and that fills up our last slot, or an iridium version of one of the other fishes, which is incredibly rare and probably harder to get than a catfish. close so many times. Oh, I'm heated. Algae, sure. Give me a couple more casts before midnight hits. Whoop. Oh, I just barely missed it. Okay, max cast, come on. Surely you got something good for me, right? Oh! Glasses! You know what? Toss both of these out. Ugh, it's getting really late. I'm gonna have to give up soon. You bastard. Well, do you want more puns? That, I, I'll admit, I'm kind of pressed on them now. What the fuck, Shane? What are you doing out so late, dude? Oh, the blessing of Shane! No! Oh! One more cast. That's all we have time for before we really have to get back, because once you start staying up past midnight, it affects your energy for the next day. <sighs> Alright. Curse you, Shane. I should have known. Better to, than to invoke you, of all people. Well, at least I can toss all these fish in. It's a pretty big haul. And the daffodil. Or dandelion, sorry. Wait, is it dandelion? No, this is a daffodil. Who knows, maybe this will be enough for the new rod that Willie has, and it will make it easier to catch. What fishing level did I get up to today? Three. Oh, crab pot. It's actually kind of nice. 1,200. That's a fair bit. Another <sighs> report. Oh, it's raining again tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna have a second shot at this. Bad luck. Uh, telling me to get scarecrows. Ooh, harvest. Oh, cookies for mom. Fantastic. Those are really good for energy. Uh, Robin needs her axe. I know where that is. More or less, because I restart this game literally every single time I play it. Ooh, golden potato! Oh my goodness. We got us one heck of a harvest today. The rest of the potatoes should sprout within the next couple of days. Okay, I'm just gonna drop one of these in. And we save all of our money for... the strawberries. Okay, let's go and grab Robin's... Uh, is her axe down there? I'm pretty sure it is. Also, I almost just said crab Robin's axe without thinking even for a second. I need to be more careful about the consequences of my actions. 
cannot tell if you need water, so I'm just going to assume you do. I'll give you some anyways. Because why not? whether or not I should sing on stream. It's been so long since I did it properly that I don't know how I sound. And even then, I could just... It's still kind of a niche thing even to listen to someone if they're good. Especially on stream. I just get so many songs stuck in my head. And most of them are way too far out of my range to even try. <laughs> I believe I wanted this. We're gonna do it again just in case. Tomorrow. And actually, we have a decent amount of energy. I could go to the mines. Take these with me to sell. I'm also going to need this and this if I am going mining. And I need to go grab Robin. The axe Robin left behind. Farm's already looking a lot clearer since I took care of most of those little grass plots. <sighs> Ooh, and while I'm down here, I can grab those spring onions. Nope. Ew, it smells. <laughs> Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I tried to get in, but my head is too obtusely huge to fit through the bars. I think Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther? The man who runs the museum? Why do you think he has it? I saw a big, rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for the big, rusty old key. There's something moving around in there. Oh, is there now? Oh, wait, I didn't bring my sword. Shit, I'll have to grab that on the way back. Boo. Whoop. Whoop a doo. Oh. The game is still pleasantly peaceful without the soundtrack. I just wish it didn't cut out at random. I wish it kept going, you know? Oh, it's probably because of the cutscene. That probably did it. Or maybe there just is no music back here because it's so far away from town. Uh, and her axe is here. And I will just grab these while I'm at it. Nice. And you too. Because why not? Alright, I'll take you as well. Okay, head up, grab the axe, or grab the sword, drop by Pierre's and sell some stuff, head to Robin, get the extra money. Another dandelion. And another one. It's worth it. Every cent counts now. You have to save up big time. And then tomorrow we go fishing again. Gonna get me a catfish if it's the last thing I do. this, take this old boy, and we gotta drop a bunch of stuff off to Pierre. Ah, 
<sighs> so many potatoes. Shock we managed with this good of a haul. Throwing his parsnip as hard as I can against the mountain face. Please deliver to Sebastian at 24 Mountain Road. Yeah, because there's another 23 houses on that road, sure. There's barely even that many people in town, Seb. Come on. Oh, he wants a parsnip. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm gonna grab this. He should be coming up soon, shouldn't he? It's like 3 o'clock or something for him. I think. A little extra energy. Never mind, that gives zero. I forgot. Well, that was convenient. That's just like a free extra 100 gold. And I had to stop off by, uh... For Robin. Wow, that is, that is so much gold. I'm gonna be able to get so many strawberries with this. Oh, Sebastian. Dude, if you want me to deliver the frickin' parsnip, open the door. Or did I not accept it? I think I forgot to accept it, damn it. Gotta hurry. Uh, I might not be going to the mines today, after all. Eventually I will. I'll freaking power through that place. This is not the right place to be. Yeah, it's still lit up. I think I just forgot to... Yep. This way for a shortcut? Sorta. Of. Yeah, not really. It's just a path next to the one I could have taken. Uh oh. Should at least come out around three. So I guess we wait. Elusive and slippery, Sebastian, just like the catfish. Oh my god, if you rearrange the letters in Sebastian, you get sea bass, which is a type of fish. And it also rhymes with crustacean. I should have known. Is he. Really? Sebby, come on! Dude, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> like, if I just press A with this out, I'm gonna eat it. I know I will. I'm not taking the chance on that. Hey, Robin, I have something for Sebastian. Can you, like, get him to come out? They're just sitting there, staring at the same spot on the floor, for some reason. Are they just gonna stand there for hours? I'll fuck. It, I'll stand here for hours. I'm watching you. Got my eyes on you both. And I just remembered I left my water bottle on the other side of the room. Hold on a sec. Okay, good. I, I had like a guttural, instinctual feeling that he was going to walk away the moment I did. We're really doing this, huh? Oh, wait.
Okay, so Sebastian's coming out. Okay, I'll wait for him up here. There you go. Uh, took several hours longer than anticipated, but... Uh, an extra hundred. Every bit counts. So much for the mines. You know what? I might be able to make it. Let me just rearrange the position of these real quick. There we go. I forget what my luck was, but I'm still going to give it a shot. Because even then, I'll still probably get enough copper for the furnace. Which is my next move. Besides, it's been too long. Come at me, fiend! Don't want to hit the big ones, because those take multiple hits to break. And I only have so much energy. I'm not going to get anywhere today, am I? Well, at least I got some copper. Ah! That's a start. I don't know why, that one just seems suspicious to me. You think you break in one hit? Nope. Oh! Do I take it? I probably should. Yeah. Ha! One more. I need one more. There we go! Okay, that's enough copper ore. Uh oh And there's the next ladder. I'm just interested in getting through as fast as possible. I don't need to get every single thing on every single floor. Though I will take whatever I can get. Yoink. Oh boy. This is getting dicey. problem. We need to find the ladder, and I only have so much energy left. I do have this, which I can eat. Only one floor after this. Come on. Can't be that hard. There we go. Okay. Way, please. I need to get to the next floor to set up something of a checkpoint and hopefully get a slightly better item. I forget what's on floor f floor 10. There's a lot of items in this place. I forget their order. I know eventually, eventually you'll get like a obsidian blade, which is like one of the better weapons you can get. Yep. That would have so much health. Also, what's with this? Oh, that's what's with that. Perfect. All right. Uh, give me whatever this is. Leather boots. Sure, I'll drop the bug meat. There, I'm a little bit tougher now. All right, let's go. <sighs> All right. We're doing good. We're doing good. Tomorrow it rains all day, so I'm dedicating every single second I have to hunting that damn catfish. That's a fucking two, like, star rating one. I need to get it. Gold one, worth it. Then sell whatever we can. Not the gems, those are for the museum. <sighs> About half an hour left. 
before the stream's done for the day. All of that time is going to be dedicated to one fish. Take this and this. Now I deposit the rest of these. Problem is coal. Coal does not show up in nearly enough quantity for us right now. So tomorrow is raining. Yes? Yes. Perfect. I'm a going fishing. And nothing's gonna stop me. Ooh. Stone fence. Hmm. Oh, level three farming apparently. Holy crap. I guess I did sell a lot of potatoes, didn't I? And I didn't keep a single one of them like an idiot. Egg festival in the town square. Yep, that's tomorrow. We're probably not going to get to that today, but I promise it'll be the first thing we do tomorrow. Actual tomorrow. Oh! Almost forgot to grab these. That would have sucked. Uh, I can just dump these. But I gotta remember to pick them all tomorrow so I can sell them to Pierre. Right? Can we sell them? I forget. No, I remember hearing you get, like, two full harvests of potatoes. Surely you can. I didn't even check my luck today. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm still going for that catfish all day long. All right, back to it. All right, you. I have one wish, and it's for a catfish. There it is. I just got it. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. Yes! First try, baby! Holy shit. <laughs> All right, ask and you shall receive. Dang, there goes most of my plans for today. I guess we can go mining again. <laughs> I really didn't think that was going... Man, that's kind of anticlimactic, isn't it? <laughs> the very first kitsch... Or fish I catch in the very first try. There you go, buddy. In with the rest of them. Alright. I guess I'll swing by the shore. See if there's anything to pick up there. Dang. <laughs> that went so unbelievably well. Um, I should also check Pierre's stock and see... Oh, I can check the community center from here. I should see... Uh, we still need green bean, a cauliflower, and a potato. So if I grab one of those now, I should be able to plant them and it'll be fine over the season. The only concern is that maybe, like, spreading weeds will happen, but that's a rare event, and it doesn't do that much anyways at this stage. Still, though, that would absolutely suck if, like, I only had one of each and all of them were destroyed. A cockle. All right. So I guess I... Or do I wait until after the strawberry? It depends on how long it takes to grow some of them. I know the cauliflower takes way too long for me to possibly get it after the first strawberry harvest. Ten days, twelve... We'll get another potato soon, so I'll just take one of each. I'm going to drop these off the community center. I also learned how to make a crab pot, so I can possibly use that to clear some other stuff out. Ugh, it takes iron? That's not happening anytime soon. Hmm. All right. 
Pop them in. There's also the periwinkle and the mussel. The other two ones we can find pretty simply. These, I believe, all require using crab pots in different areas and getting lucky. Which, spoiler alert, uh, not my forte. Now, let's go ahead and see what we can do. I think we're actually on really good track to get everything we need this season. I've already done all of the foraging things, and then... Once we have enough strawberries, I can easily get enough, uh, parsnips. And then cauliflower next to it. There we go. Nice. I am amazed that went as well as it did. Oh, I could have snagged the potato. Dang it. Um, put these back. Take this, this, and my sword. Should probably check my luck today, too. I can also bring these to the museum as I go by. What's my luck looking like? Mildly perturbed. I've had worse. Also, it's, that is exactly what it is. It tells you what your luck is for the day. It's like a step... It's, as, it's exactly as it seems. It's... It affects your luck with drops. But, it is still luck, so you can still have good things happen on a bad day. And bad things happen on a good day. It's just good to know. Especially once you get, like, later into the game and can start, like, doing a lot of things over time. Oh, Gunther! I have some shiny rocks for you. We might actually be able to do the egg festival before the stream's done. Still no rewards. Odd. Animals are very sensitive. They like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors and dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though. Okay. And farming tips. I already know it. Fertilizer, speed grow, yada yada yada. You are essentially worthless, except for money. Which I'm actually feeling kind of comfy on right about now. If it weren't for the fact that I know how ridiculous strawberries are, I might actually go and grab, like, the backpack upgrade, but... We're not so far into the game where we're getting that many... That wide a variety of items, so... Not too worried. Oh, damn it, I should have brought the freaking hoe. Dig, up, dig up some relics. Ah, well, they'll be fine. Ooh, leak! I, feel, I, still, I still feel a little bit bad that I couldn't uh, get the modded version working, but who knows. Maybe someday I'll do, like, a multiplayer run. And then I can do the modded version. That sounds like a great idea. See if we can get to floor 20 by the time the day is done. We probably won't be able to, but still, worth a try. Oh, hello. Oh, can you give me a crab? Crab! Crab! Crab of the rock! The bomb? <laughs> My god, what's that crab up to? Oh, one of these things. The diglets! Sure, that was gonna reveal some sort of ladder. This might be like a definite bad luck day. Oh, great, forgot about these guys. They're not even that hard to beat, they just take so much time. He says, getting hit by one three times in a row. There we go. Okay. Doop. 
Clink. Clonk. Boop. Yep. Oh, that's an angry one. Wait, aren't these things, like, actually very dangerous? Never mind. No, not you. Well, I already hit you once. Oh, great. Oh, there's a ladder. I'm taking it. Ah, <laughs> see ya, suckers. Oh, there's a ladder right here. So much for a bad luck day. Whoa, that's a lot of copper. I'm taking that. Every last bit. Out the way. There's an earth crystal, and then I'm moving on to the next floor. See ya! We actually might be able to get to floor 20 if this keeps up. This is what I mean. Just because it says it's a bad luck day doesn't mean you should completely forego it. There's another ladder over there. We're making great time. And lots of enemies. Oh, and there's the next, like, little journal thingy. I'll see if I can stop by after I'm done here. Well, I hope this thing drops the ladder because they're very hard to find on these floors if you've already completed a segment. <gasps> Crab! Uh, drop the fiber. There we go. Another community center thing taken care of. And there's the ladder. Bad luck day, my ass. You already donated quartz. We don't particularly need it. Although, it does have its uses. Crystal has been done. I don't need bug meat. Did that say a juicy wad of bug? Ugh. Oh, boy. Oh, ladder. Aha! Safety. Surprised I haven't seen a single cave carrot down here. Oh no, not the little worms. Okay, good. We took that one out before it became a problem. Still, though, those things will turn into the bees. That is not the bees' knees. Not for us. For them, it's great. The bees will say please for that, but... And being the breeze, it sure ain't a, it sure ain't a breeze. Did I just say breeze twice? Damn it. We'll dig, 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 dig. We'll dig the whole way through. Come on. You've been so nice so far. Why you got changed now? You used to be so nice. And now that you're all big and popular, you don't bother to say hi anymore. Okay, I may be able to rush him if I break. Oh, great. It so happened that that thing was a freaking crab. Okay, go for it. Okay, that took care of all of them. Thank goodness. They could have gotten very ugly very fast. Well, I already hit that one, so I might as well. Where is this freaking ladder? Did I walk past it and forget? No? Doesn't seem like it. Aha! Okay, two more floors to go. Oh, great. It's a monster den. Keep going. Thankfully, it's only like the basic babies of monsters. Never mind, there's bees! Multiple bees! 
Okay, I'm getting out of here. Yep. Too unlucky for my taste. I'll see if I can stop by the community center on the way. What the heck was that? I think that was a frog. He went for a sli swim. Not a swim. Went for a swim and did a splash. That was a little bit dicey. Even then, I was almost out of energy anyways. Could have popped the leak, but... Bit of a risk. <sighs> Surprised this place is still so bright. Even though it's like almost 11 at night. Here is your crab. Take it. Take it all! All we need is something else to pop up on the shore, and then that one's done. I think it gives us crab pots for free, so that's pretty nice. Now, let's see. Since I'm out of the, the mine, I don't need this, so I can just sell it. I only... I should probably hold on to those. Alright. Store the rest, and then it's off to sleep. Yep. Okay. And tomorrow's going to be sunny, because it's the Egg Festival. Recycling machine? Oh. What does that do again? 1300. Damn. And then comes the rest of the harvest. <laughs> now, if I'm lucky, Pierre will buy all of these. But if I'm not, that kind of sucks for me. Because these are an enormous amount of potatoes. Maybe if I go into town early. Man, we got really lucky. Okay, I'm gonna put in one potato. Oh, wait, I can just run to the community center. I almost forgot you. And I'm going to need my watering can because... And possibly the hoe. Because after we grab the strawberries, I want to plant them immediately. Alright. Let's move quickly. Oh, ooh. So I can't go to the community center today? Damn it. Okay, I'll store one potato. Coffee, I hear, is one of the most ridiculous ridiculous things to grow. Uh, what else can I take to sell? I don't need the bait. Take the fish. Let's see how much the cookies are worth, but then mom will be mad at me. <laughs> oh, I can also quickly make a furnace. Copper bar. And I think that gets me some extra money. Going into this with almost 8,000. That's pretty good. <sighs> this is going to be a weird one. Anything else I could possibly sell? Mixed seeds? Not really. That's not going to help that much. Okay, that doesn't give me anything, but it does give me a copper bar for later use, which I'm actually going to start a few, start another one smelting now while we're waiting. There is value to these. They'll let us upgrade our tools, which is going to be very nice. First thing I want is either the pickaxe or the axe. Probably the pickaxe, because that lets us go much further in the mine. I 
forgot how fast copper smelts. We're gonna have three before we even leave. What else I can do? So it's going to be night when we get back. Awesome these. I'm going to briefly make one torch. You know, I'll make two. I'm gonna put them here and here so that I can see at night. Okay, and then I just stash this and this. I'm using that to make fertilizer later. Don't need these with me. I want this and this. And I think that's all I really want. All right, let's go hit up the egg festival. I'm probably not gonna talk to many people and just get it over with quick because we're running out of time for the stream today. All right, Pierre, will you buy crops currently? Damn it, oh. You know what, it's fine. 77 strawberry seeds is pretty damn good. Oh, if I could use any freaking fertilizer on them at all, I'd be able to get, like, another... Curse you, Pierre. Your actual shop is, like, 20 feet to the right. How come you can't just, like... Ugh. Coward. All in, baby. Mr. Mayor. Let's do it. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. And it's for some reason, all of us are involved. Go down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. How old is our character? Because they give the vibe of, like, 16, but we were working in an office job. Now, is everyone ready? Let's do it. Let the egg hunt begin. All right, I'm moving. Aha, joke's on you. I have the highest movement speed out of all of you. Egg. 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 There's a lot of them. They're all over the place. Egg. Uh, there's one up there. I'm going to enjoy crushing the hopes and dreams of these children. Beat that, suckers! Wow, look at all these eggs! Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we have the cleanest town this side of the Gem Sea. And without me spending a cent, free labor is the best kind. And now, the winner of this year's egg hunt, the grown man, who's done this several times before. Atlas! Who'da thought? Here's your prize. Enjoy. Well, that's it for this year's Egg Festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. Mm-hmm. And now for the hard part. I gotta get all of these planted and watered in time before I collapse. Thankfully, I don't believe they have, like, physical hitboxes, so we can plant them everywhere. All right, let's go. Just realized I didn't actually walk. 
water anything, so... Good thing I'm doing this now. Alright, let's hurry. Oh, good, you can see it even in the dark. Should go pretty well, I think. Can't actually see. I don't think I got this one. There we go. Looking good. Looking spicy. Not that strawberries are particularly spicy, but you know what I mean. Okay, it's already midnight. Come on, we gotta move. We gotta move. Time is running out. I'm gonna keep going even if I collapse. What are they gonna do? Take my remaining 15 gold? Yeah, right. The government has no power on me if I'm already broke. Good. We're gonna... We should be fine. We might be a little bit low on energy tomorrow, but... It'll be okay. Hit the plants, please. Thank you. So it should be all of them, I think. Yep. Now I just toss in these potatoes. And we should be good. jar. God, oh, that's so many extra strawberries. It's fine. It's fine. We wouldn't have been able to water them. Just, damn it. Actually, wait, this is kind of perfect. Because with this, I can afford both the backpack and the uh, first tool upgrade. Okay, this, this works out. Okay, new problem. I'm definitely going to need to invest in some parsnips if I want to get those quality crops. But you know what? That's a problem for another day. <sighs> Playing through this game has been so much fun already, and we're only halfway through the very first season. <sighs> there we go. Look at this. We're already almost at farming level 5, and it's season... It's the first spring. Oh my god, it's gonna be ridiculous. And fishing level nearly 5, too. I forgot about that. Alright, chat. If you like this, make sure to follow. Because we're doing some more tomorrow, and you don't want to miss it. For now, let's find you guys someone to raid, shall we? Oh, gotta make sure this site's muted. I don't want to accidentally blast someone else's stream over my mic to you guys, that'd suck. Let's see. Hmm. Minako Rocket. You seem pretty far in the game. But it's Stardew Valley. I don't think many people are that worried about spoilers. Chat, make sure to be nice and supportive because everyone's trying to do their best. And we'll be back with more Stardew tomorrow. Tomorrow, things start going our way for real. We're going to have so much money. Oh, 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 I can't wait. You all have a wonderful day, and I will gladly see you again soon. Till, get, till then, take care. Goodbye. <laughs>